Vrushali and you are watching Vrushraj Classes YouTube channel. We are uploading some special videos for competitive exam, especially the NMMS exam, which is conducted for Standard 8. Now, in this exam, one interesting question which is asked is count the number of shapes. Means they may ask count the number of squares in the given figure or count the number of triangles in the given figure or count the number of rectangles in the given figure and sometimes the students they find it very difficult to count these figures and in these videos I always repeat one point that for this competitive exam the most important factor is time we cannot spend more time for one question because time is less and we have to answer more number of questions and for this we should know some shortcut tips and tricks to get the answer so if you get a very simple trick to find the number of squares to find the number of rectangles and to find the number of triangles just in few seconds of course you will be very happy to know such trick so in this video i am going to explain you the trick to find the number of squares yes so in this video we are going to check how to find the number of squares in the given figure the first thing square means all four sides are equal so we have to check for the figures where all four sides are equal means you have to check for the number of squares so here this is one simple square okay now let's start with some simple figures now just have a look at this figure so in this figure how many squares are there here there are four squares one two three four so if this figure comes in the question that how many squares are there in this so you will tell 4. No. Don't forget to count the main square. Means 1, 2, 3, 4. All these 4 squares together makes one complete square. So don't forget to count this one complete square. So the total number of squares here is 5. Now suppose if you have one figure something like this. So here we find 4 squares in one row and 4 squares in one column. So, altogether there are 16 small squares. But if you have a look at this figure carefully, you will find that there are many squares in this figure. Means 1, 2, 5, 6. This makes 1 square. 2, 3, 6, 7. This makes 1 square. 3, 4, 7, 8. This makes 1 square. So, if we count in this way, there are many squares in this figure. So, how to calculate this? So for this, I will explain one simple trick. So here, first we have to check there are how many squares in one row and how many squares in one column. Okay. So what we have to do is number of rows into number of column. Okay. Now here number of rows is 4. Means number of squares in each row is 4 and Number of squares in each column is also 4. This is equal to 60. But this is not our answer. So how to get the right answer? What you have to do is go on reducing this. Go on reducing this. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. And 1 into 1 is equal to 1. And now find the sum of this. 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1. So what is the sum of this? 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 plus 4 is 29. 29 plus 1 is 30. So in this figure, all together, we have 30 squares. So this is the simple trick. Now, if number of rows and number of columns is not equal means if the number of rows and number of columns is unequal so in that case how we have to solve okay now just have a look at this figure now in this figure we have four squares in one row and three squares in one column so now how to solve this what did i tell you that we have to multiply number of squares in a row by number of squares in columns. Now here number of squares in one row is equal to 4. 
and number of squares in one column is equal to 3. Let's multiply this. 4 3 is a 12. Reduce this number by 1. 3 into 2. 3 2 is a 6. Reduce it again by 1. 2 into 1. Two. Now we have to continue this till we get 1 at one place. Because if we reduce again 1 by 1, we will get 0. And the product means whenever we multiply any number by 0, answer is of course 0. So we have to stop when we get 1 either here or here. Once we multiply one number by 1, stop your multiplication and find the sum of whatever products we have in our hand. Now in this case 12 plus 6 plus 2. 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 2, 20. So in this figure, there are altogether 20 squares. So this is how you have to find the number of squares when the figure is divided in small squares. But this is not going to be the case in each and every paper. You may get one different type of square. Okay. Now let's check one more type of square. Now just have a look at this figure. Now how to find the number of squares in this figure? We know that in a square, if we have plus sign, Okay, means when one square is divided in four squares, number of squares is five. So whenever we have plus sign in one square, okay, means when one square is divided in equal four squares, altogether there are five squares. Now in this figure, what we find is there is one more square inside this square. Means we can say the outer square is our first square in which there are four squares. And the inner square is our second square, again in which we have four squares. So here what is going to be the total number of squares? See here in this case, for outer square, there are five squares. And again, in inner square, there are five squares. So the total number of squares in this case is 10. Total number of squares in this case is 10. It's so simple. The things are not at all complicated. From my side, I am trying my best to make this competitive exams very easy for you. So here, the total number of squares in this case is 10. Okay, let's have a look at one more figure of this type. Now here in this case, how many squares are there? There is one big square. There is one more square in that. And there is one more square in that. And there is plus sign. In all these three squares right there is plus sign in all these three squares so how we are going to find the number of squares so in this case for the first square that is the outer square with plus sign there are five squares now the second square again it is with plus sign so five more squares again inside that there is one square with plus sign so again plus 5 and altogether we have 15 squares in this. So remember the basic things. Okay, remember this basic things when you count the number of squares. Now let's check one more type. How to find the number of squares? Yes, one more type is there. Just have a look at this figure. It's so beautiful. One square with plus sign and one more square we can say in diamond shape. Okay. Now, when you come across like this figure, okay. Now, when you come across like this single figure, altogether, there are six squares. How? See, a square with the plus sign, it gives us altogether five squares. And one diamond shaped square is there in this figure, which is our sixth square. So, when you come across like this shape, like this figure, the total number of squares here is six. Now let's check one example of this type. Now just have a look at this question. How many total number of squares is there in this figure? Just have a look at this figure carefully. And let's find the total number of squares here. In this case, the first outer square, it is having plus sign as well as that diamond shaped square. So here, the total number of squares is 6. 
Now the second square. Even the second square is having plus sign and diamond shape. So, six more squares. And in third square, just check what is there in third square. In third square, we have only plus sign. There is no diamond shape square in this. So, that last third square, which is at the center with the plus sign, we know that it makes five squares. It makes 5 squares. So now what is the total number of squares here? 6 plus 6 plus 5. 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 5, 17. So altogether there are 17 squares in this figure. So what you have to do is remember the basic concept. Okay, remember the basic concept. Means when main square, when it is divided by horizontal and vertical line, how to find the number of squares when we have plus sign in squares how to find the number of squares when we have plus sign along with one diamond shape square how to find the number of squares so these things are explained in this video so i think counting the number of squares is not going to be difficult for you now similar to this how to find the number of triangles how to find the number of rectangles we will definitely explain you but in our upcoming videos and to get the updates of such interesting videos subscribe our channel yes do subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of such useful and interesting videos so if you want us to make video on any specific concept okay regarding this competitive exam or if you want us to solve any specific question do drop mail to us on our mail id we will definitely try to solve your problem my dear students, please do share these videos among your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, be in touch. And thank you so much for watching this video.